Hi everyone, I'm Rinsey and this is Rinsey Reads. Today I'm going to be talking about Salvation of a Saint by Tiko Higashino. This is, I think, like the second book in the Detective Galileo series in the sense that this is the second book that was translated from the series into English, uh, but I think this is actually like the fifth or sixth novel in the series. But these were originally published in Japanese and then translated by Alexander Smith. So this is a mystery book and I read The Devotion of Suspect X by Tiko Higashino a couple of years ago and adored it. It is such a good book. I will link to my book review of that if you are interested, but it is freaking fantastic. Like it's even been adapted into a movie. So it's an extremely popular mystery book. And so ever since then, I've just been like very slowly working my way through Kiko Higashino's other books. So in this mystery book, you are following this death of a man who was about to leave his wife and so the story starts off with them having this conversation about the fact that this guy has basically like a one-year plan and he presented his plan to his wife before they got married and so his plan was basically like he wanted to have a child with her within the first year of their marriage otherwise he was going to leave her to have a child with someone else because he basically believed that the only reason to be married was to have children. They have this conversation that night they have a dinner party with another couple that has recently had a baby as well as the wife's assistant at her work and then the wife goes away on a trip to visit her parents because her father has been sick recently and she hasn't seen them at all since she's been married and so she basically asks her husband like you know, fine, I will agree to the agreement. Just give me this weekend to see my parents and then we'll resolve things. However, that weekend while she is away, her husband dies. And so like in this situation, like the very obvious suspect for the murder is the wife. But since she was literally hundreds of miles away, when he died, you know, the police now have to figure out what exactly is going on. So that's all I'll give in terms of synopsis because I think that's all you really need. Kiko Higashino is a really great mystery writer. I think that he is perfect if you are someone who loves like Agatha Christie whodunit style books because I think that he has like a very similar like vibe and vein to the books or at least the translation does. So it provides like a similar sort of feeling of a kind of whodunit. But what Kiko Higashino does or at least what I've perceived from the couple of books that I've read is that he kind of takes that mystery style that is very known in the western world and like turns it on its head and I think that a lot of Japanese mystery writers actually do this where they take the idea of a whodunit and they change it and they ask a different question so instead of asking who done it um, they ask like why or how did they do it and this book is definitely like similar in that sense like this is a book where you don't necessarily know who exactly did it until towards the end of the book but in my head it was pretty clear who did it and so you, you're following the detectives the whole time that you are learning about the case and things like that and so you're kind of just like finding out information as they're finding it out and putting the pieces together with them which is always really fun for me as a mystery reader but you see that there's only really like one maybe two <laughs> potential suspects at least in my head that's how it was the entire book and so as you're reading through the story you're just trying to figure out like how did they pull this off and then why did they pull it off because like the motivation is going to be part of the solving of the crime itself. The other reason why these books are like very good for Agatha Christie style readers is because the murders themselves are never extremely straightforward. Like it's not like someone literally just stabbed someone else or something like that. Like there's always some sort of like complication that makes it very difficult. So the reason why these books are called the Detective Galileo series is not because there is someone named Detective Galileo in this book. There is someone who is nicknamed Detective Galileo who is featured in these books. That person is Professor Yukawa, who is basically a consultant for the police whenever they are dealing with like these extremely complicated cases. He is a, uh, I don't remember, I think it's a physics professor, something along those lines, like some sort of science professor. And so they come to him with these like really complicated puzzle type mysteries and he like looks at things from a completely different perspective and is able to help provide answers for whatever is going on in the case and he always does like figure it out and so it's really fun again reading these books because you see like the detectives going about the 
typical like detective route of trying to figure out what exactly happened and then you also get to see little bits of Detective Galileo going through it in a completely different manner asking different questions and things like that that feel more reminiscent of like a Sherlock Holmes type of idea of like asking all of these weird questions that don't make sense to anyone until you find out like why he's asking those questions and the things he's trying to do. So yeah I really enjoyed this book. I think that this series in general is just like really really fun and again perfect for people who are fans of Agatha Christie and Sherlock Holmes and things along those lines. There is some like added layers though to this book that I think sort of elevates it to another level or provides just something else or something different. Like Agatha Christie books in general are pretty short. This one you know is a 300-ish page novel and so you get like backstory and you get motivations and you get to learn about these characters a little bit more which I think is really fun. I think like something that I've noticed with these books is that there's always a lot of discussion about the people who are committing these crimes and you get to really learn about their motivations and the reasons behind the choices that they made and things like that and I always find those to be like really really satisfactory like that's one of the reasons why I think like Devotion of Suspect X is one of my all-time favorite books is because you get to the end and you see these explanations of the choices that were made by the characters and it's like nothing that you probably would have ever thought about but it makes complete sense in the end. This is kind of the same thing where you kind of get an idea for where they're going to go with the story but like the full wraparound of the story is really really beautifully done in my opinion. This is like one of those books where it's like perfectly crafted, all of the like strings are perfectly placed, everything is just put together so so well. Like Higo Hiyoshino you know, is someone who if you are a fan of mysteries and you haven't given us a chance yet I would definitely definitely recommend and I think that especially if you're someone who reads a lot of mystery books and maybe gets a little bit I don't want to say jaded but you know like if you read a lot of a genre you see a lot of the same like tropes play out or the same themes play out and I think that again another reason why I'm really attracted to the books that he, Kiko Higashino writes is because he asks different questions, he turns these tropes on their head a little bit and provides you with a different perspective with all of these mysteries which again is always fantastic. All right so those are my quick thoughts on Salvation of a Saint. Let me know down in the comments below if you've read this book what your thoughts were on it. I definitely think like Devotion of Suspect X will always be my favorite. I mean obviously I can't say that for certain but I hold that in such high regard but this is definitely like a very very good mystery book as well so if you read Devotion of Suspect X I definitely encourage you to keep going with his books or if you have any questions about the book feel free to leave that down in the comment section as well. So yeah that's all I have for now and thanks for watching.